Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. This time, we circle back to some of those making of features, but one that I haven't had in my collection as an individual item to show you up until this point in time. We know that when we talk about making of features for the original trilogy, a lot of times what springs to mind is From Star Wars to Jedi, The Making of a Saga, which of course was packed in in the 1992 Special Letterboxd Collector's Edition that has seen other releases over time. Then there's that sort of trilogy of specials, if you want to call it that, uh, what is referred to in one Laserdisc instance as the Making of Trilogy, which could be the Making of the Trilogy, or Making of, as what they are, Trilogy, referring to them as a trilogy, and that is the Making of Star Wars, SPFX, The Empire Strikes Back, and Classic Creatures Return of the Jedi. All TV specials, then released on home video. Now, Making of Star Wars we've looked at quite a bit, SPFX, The Empire Strikes Back being on a, a double feature. With that, we've looked at quite a bit. This is not another return to those, though I'm sure there will be some in the future, as I'm waiting on a Betamax version of that double feature to wind up showing up in the mail. It's the other one that's our focus here, though, the one for Return of the Jedi. Classic Creatures Return of the Jedi that aired in 1983, the same year as Return of the Jedi's theatrical release in the United States. It also showed up on home video in 1983 through Playhouse Video, the same company that put out that initial release uh, from Star Wars to Jedi, The Making of a Saga. That release is this. Classic Creatures, Return of the Jedi, got that image there from Return of the Jedi. Underneath, down at the bottom there, it says, Classic Creatures, Return of the Jedi, starring Carrie Fisher, Billy Dee Williams. They are the hosts. Executive producer, Sidney Gaines, Howard Kazanjian, or however you're supposed to say it, written by Robert Gunnett, Greg O'Neill, produced and directed by Robert Gunnett. And then you got your... Playhouse Video logo down there at the bottom. On the side, Playhouse Video logo, there's your title, VHS, closed caption with its item number there. Pretty much the same thing on the other side. Mine's got a little sticker here I'm slowly removing. I don't want to tear it to remove that sticker, though. Then the back, you've got three images here, behind-the-scenes images, then info about it, Playhouse Video, and then all your legal stuff down here. It says, watch how the colorful creatures in Return of the Jedi come to life. Color, 1983. Carrie Fisher and Billy Dee Williams host this enlightening and entertaining look into the behind-the-scenes world of monster-making for the film Return of the Jedi. All of the characters, from the Ewoks, R2-D2, and Darth Vader himself, to the slimy evil Jabba the Hutt, are featured in the engaging expose that gives away some movie-making secrets while explaining the complexities of breathing life into plastic models and foam rubber aliens. Interestingly, that has an exclamation point after it, and expose doesn't have the little emphasis mark, so it's more like the engaging expose that gives away blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't think it's expose unless you actually have the accent mark or whatever it's called on it. It takes the imagination of the actors, the puppet operators, and skills of the articulation engineers to make Return of the Jedi and films like it the entertaining classics they are. 49 minutes, blah, 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 legal stuff. And then at the top, classic creatures Return of the Jedi. By comparison, for those who are looking at this saying, that looks familiar, this is that from Star Wars to Jedi, the making of a saga that Playhouse Video put out. Uh, they're designed in pretty much the same way. The actual tape itself, take it out here, has that weird sort of almost burgundy type of print here, Playhouse Video logo, classic creatures, Return of the Jedi, and tons and tons of legalese underneath. It is a standard VHS tape, runs about 49 minutes all told. Uh, no bonus features or anything like that before or after the special, but it does kick off, for those who are looking for this and may find it without the label on it or something, it does kick off with that Playhouse video animation, which is something not seen on a lot of Star Wars releases because most aren't from Playhouse video. If you're looking for it, this is what that animation that plays before the film looks like. This is a fun one. I really like seeing the behind-the-scenes stuff with all the animatronics and all the kind of stuff that they were doing, the puppetry and whatnot. I will say that it is a little bit tougher to find than some of those other making-of specials. I actually, within the span of about a month and a half, wound up with two copies on hand. Uh, Matthew Fox, whenever I was able to pick up that screener of The Phantom Menace from him, uh, one of the other items I picked up from him was 
this, uh, albeit in a rental case. This is kind of what happens when you do rentals. A lot of times they'll take something like this and they'll slice up the packaging, getting rid of one of the, the sides, use the other side as a spine, front and back, slip it into one of those plastic cases, and use that as a place to put your tape. This actually appears to come from a place called Sound Warehouse, and I love it. I would put one of these stickers on my wall because it's a home video collection, just because it's such an iconic part of the home video trend back then. Be kind. Please. Rewind. Anytime as a kid that I picked up a tape from a rental store and somebody hadn't rewound it, I would turn to my mother, who was usually the one driving the car, and say, Someone was unkind, Mom. That helps tell you what kind of kid I was. Almost immediately after that showed up in the mail, a viewer of this show named Anthony uh, Bachno, B-A-C-H-N-O, uh, through YouTube sent me a message saying, hey, I just saw this sitting on eBay, so if you're looking for it, you might want to snatch it. And snatch it up, I did. Now, if you want to see this special, you don't necessarily need to get it on VHS. Uh, you can go out there and get it on other media, such as, for instance, there were some laser discs uh, released in Japan as a triple feature. Speaking of which, if you are looking for it on Laserdisc, it is included, oh, it's so big, it is included in that 1995 reissue of the Definitive Collection in Japan. Remember, this is the one that instead of having Making of a Saga or having all of those bonus features from the American Definitive Collection from 93, has this in it that includes all three of those Making of features. That's where I got that Making of Trilogy comment from. But it's Japanese, not American in this case. The most common way to see it, though, these days is as part of Disc 9 on the 2011 Complete Saga Blu-ray set, which has documentaries and uh, spoof-type materials, or in the reissue of the Complete Saga set that was put out back in 2015. This is the one that would currently still be on store shelves if your store tends to carry these uh, beyond the first year that they're out. So for those of you who are trying to add behind-the-scenes specials to your home video collection, I know some people stick just to the films, some go for everything, including behind the scenes. I tend to focus on the films, but lean towards the behind the scenes stuff when I can. Uh, this is another thing that you can add to your Star Wars home video collection. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers.